So today I want to do another nice low quality video on something that I feel is important um, that everybody should have with them, whether you're working patrol, traffic, doesn't matter. Should have one of these and that is an IFAC. This one is made by North American Rescue. Um, I would highly recommend all of their products. Go ahead and open it up. Um, right off the go, as you can see, you've got one and two of their cat tourniquets. Um, these do come wrapped in plastic, but remove that plastic, you're gonna have a hard time getting that off when you've been shot or have your hands covered in someone else's blood. Um, don't cheap out on tourniquets. I would seriously get cat tourniquets I would not buy any of the, I don't want to necessarily say gimmicks, but uh, the lesser respected tourniquets, such as the Rats tourniquet or uh, knockoff Amazon cat tourniquets. Um, next, we have a chest seal. It's a two pack, so one in the front, one in the back. Um, Got to have that with you. Stop sucking chest wound. Next, it's got some shears, um, pretty straightforward. There are actually some instructions, yes, instructions in here for if you're not sure how to use some of these things. Um, I kept it in there just because, why not? But I would really suggest going to either an EMR class, which is a week long, I've done that, or go to a combat lifesaver class, either one, just to get you a little bit more familiar with a few of the things. Um, they also have quick clot on these, or in these, excuse me, two of them, which I've heard mixed reviews on use, don't use. Um, I don't know, I left them in there. I've never used a quick clot before on anyone. I've only ever used tourniquets and Israeli bandages in real life situations, so I can't say um, for sure how well a quick clot is actually going to work or not work. Set those to the side. They do send you with an emergency blanket. I did leave this in there as well, just because um, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware that have worked them. You know, you have those nasty J4 fatal accidents and there's bodies out in the open and you need to get those covered up. So these work pretty well for that. Um, I don't think I've ever used a survival blanket for anything else. So um, next in line there, you do have two pairs of uh, gloves. You have a pen, which Excuse me, a Sharpie, a mini Sharpie, which I'm assuming they put in there to mark your tourniquets with. However, um, I don't know. Leave that up to you if you want to take the time to take a marker out and actually mark the time on there. I would probably just radio and dispatch and tell them to mark the time as tourniquet applied for the medics when they need it. Um, you also have a nasal airway. Um, pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. I'm sure probably everyone here has done stuck one of these down their friend's nose in the academy at some point or another. And last but not least, get it out of here. We have a emergency trauma dressing, which I believe is North American Rescue's uh, version of a Israeli bandage or compression bandage. Um, never used one of theirs before. Um, all the ones I've used came directly from our ambulance bar and they're pretty good about hooking us up with extra stuff when we need it. Um, I carry more medical in my vehicle than just this. I have an additional uh, three or four tourniquets and they're laying loose. I have another three or four um, Israeli style bandages or compression bandages. Um, that's really just about it that I carry, and that's mainly just for a mass casualty event, which, you know, it doesn't have to be like, say, a school shooter, but, you know, even a nasty car crash that's multiple vehicle, you know, multiple people injured, it's good to have 
you know, that many extra tourniquets and uh, compression bandages with you for that type of stuff. The only other thing I do carry with me is, of course, Narcan. I'm sure everybody's familiar with what Narcan is and how to use it, so I'm not going to get into that, but that's pretty well what I carry on me for medical. Um, of course, this stays in my war bag in my vehicle. I don't actually carry it on person, even though I probably should. I don't. The only thing I carry on person is a tourniquet, so um, anyway, do with this information what you will. Like I said, this is North American Rescue that makes this kit and I believe the kits actually only come standard with one tourniquet um, well, it seems like one tourniquet one quick clot maybe something else is missing from it this is kind of like their double stacked kit I believe um, I don't know it's been about a year since I uh, actually picked this up at a mass casualty training event so um, with that I'm out of here appreciate it guys enjoy your week